Hello guys and welcome back to another Gothic 2 returning guide with me Slivers FX and today we're gonna explore one of the better or more interesting guilds that are available within this mod and that is the Demon Hunter guild. The Demon Hunter guild was introduced in July of last year, uh, 2022 and to actually join them, you just have to take a stroll down to the end of the port near the Paladin ship. And you will see a bunch of people here. Uh, Angel is one of them, which is also the leader of these people. Once you talk to him, he will start explaining that uh, they are basically part of the same guild as the Paladins. But like on a side. Uh, they have special quests, they do special training, they do, you know, other things that Paladins normally wouldn't. But, they've been standing here for a while, probably. Or they just came with the Paladins, so they are looking for a new base. Before you can join them, however, uh, you have to bring Angel a powerful potion, which can be either Strength, dexterity or mana any other uh ones that are above average payload above a thousand gold or so i'm not sure which other one count because i didn't experiment and besides the potion you also have to give him a thousand gold once you do, you are basically part of their guild and you can just accept the uh, invitation as, well, being in. And you will get a armor of the recruit. Unlike the militia armor, this one is actually blue. So you know how to differentiate the militia ones from the demon hunter ones. And it's not bad for a star armor, but you can also upgrade it and you will also get a better one later on while you do some quests for this guild. He will then send you to a guy that's basically second in command after him and he will give you a uh, starter crossbow and some bolts to go with it. They are also specialized in killing uh, skeletons, not just demons, but also the undead, which is pretty handy because you can learn certain skills from them. You can also learn uh, ha to have a chance of having a double shot from your crossbow, exploding shots, and many other stuff. And I think that the Demon Hunter Guild is probably, in my opinion, is the best way how to introduce a guild. And uh, we'll show you in this video why. So the first task is to basically relocate these people recruits and uh, the gang and we're gonna talk to Orlan in the Dead Harpy Tavern asking about an abandoned place if he knows anything and uh, there is actually there is one uh, far beyond owner's farm there's a new manor or a new mansion if you want to call it like that and uh, what we have to do is scope it out and then tell Angel that we found it and they're gonna be there afterwards. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to Onar's farm and we're gonna locate that little mansion. For those that have already explored this part and didn't know what this was if you already joined another guild, eh, well, now you will know. I tried to kill some stuff here for no abs for absolute no purpose, but then I just decided to continue and uh, be on my way because I don't want to waste anybody's time. The demon hunters alone mostly rely on their strength; they don't have any dexterity. So if if I wanted to start off as a dexterity build, this would be a bad idea. But since I'm not actually doing this to show you guys. How I'm gonna build my character, it's uh, okay, unless. I didn't have an ancient rune tile over here, so I couldn't activate the teleport. So we're just gonna go back to the port and talk to Angel again and see uh, 
what we're gonna do after uh, getting back to the mansion one more time. So as I was saying, the demon hunters rely mostly on their strength. So you have strength as crossbow, you have strength weapons. And the more strength you have, the more damage you do, obviously. Unlike the Dark Knight, you cannot really spawn anything. I do believe you can get a pet uh, from one of the Hunter's Guild quests, the uh, Gina, or in the Orc City later on, a Shadow Beast pet. But uh, it wouldn't be that much good since you can tank all the damage yourself with this build. You have to clear out all this space. And as you can see, it's a complete wreck. It's been abandoned. There's spider webs, there's moss everywhere. And later on, you can actually see the reconstruction of this place. And that's the most interesting part about it. Even though you don't see it doing live, but you can see the changes happening every time you come back. And you don't get that with any other guild. Well, apart from the water mages when you go to Jarkandar, because they added that as well. You can see a palisade afterwards and uh, other stuff. But yeah. I think that uh, the demon hunters alone are, for me, the most interesting class. If not the most powerful. Because the most powerful, obviously, are the necromancer, the dark uh, magician, and the fire mage. But they're, they're still interesting nonetheless. And uh, these zombies can't really do much if you know how to dodge them. Once you do clear all of this, well, you can also ask Wenzel for help. But... Uh, <laughs> If you already cleared everything, then you don't have to ask him for help. You just have to talk to him, and since everything is cleared, then your job here is done. The undead are dead. Uh, you might as well clear the place, like get all the valuable stuff outside, get all the leather bags, the uh, silver or gold stuff, because as Angel says, if you don't do that, they will just throw everything out. Even though it might be valuable for you, but for them it's just junk. On the upper floor of this house, you will see a note, which you have to read and then report back to Angel what you found and what happened here. So apparently somebody um, cursed themselves. And uh, yeah... The entire household became zombies and turned on the on the owner, which is kind of hilarious, honestly. Is what you would expect from a gothic game in the first place. It's quite a few things down here, also a silver necklace, a silver candlestick, you can even find an elixir of spirit and some other valuable stuff. It's not just everything to throw away, but that's why I'm exploring one more time in case I missed something. And you probably can get all about a thousand gold, maybe even more worth of stuff up here. Just make sure you loot pretty much everything you can find. Once you picked up everything, they start cleaning the place and uh, even brooming. And kind of funny because you don't see uh, normally militia men or thousands do that. But it's a nice change to see. And I think uh, that's what makes the Demon Hunter Guild special. The next thing you have to do is go back to the port and uh, tell the rest of the gang, basically some recruits and the blacksmith, to uh, to go to the actual new camp, the mansion that we just cleared. By talking to the blacksmith, everybody else will just uh, follow on their own. Three recruits and the blacksmith himself. Now you have to talk to Lord Hagen and... Uh, you don't have to go to Act 2 just yet, if you don't want to. But you have to tell him about what is happening 
in uh, the Demon Hunters Guild. So that is the order in the city quest, and you can be well on your way back to Angel. Report to him that you deliver the orders. And you can already see that the uh, mansion is already starting to take shape. There's storage stuff, the floor has been cleaned pretty much. And uh, the next quest will be basically to clear out a cemetery near the Dead Harpy Tavern. Wenzel will uh, meet you automatically, he will just teleport there. And uh, you can pretty much let him do the work, because he is strong enough. If you don't want to get in the way. But, don't bother about the, the shadow undead, that it's in the cave. Because that one will wreck both of you. It does have quite a bit of HP and you don't want to mess with it. Plus, you need a special weapon to actually damage it. Either it's an ore weapon, a silver weapon, or whatever else you want. Either way, I tried, but uh, I, I redid it, and we ended up here with uh, just killing the normal on that. We go back to Angel. And uh, he will probably be on the second floor now. And you can also see the flags have been raised and the inside of the houses have been cleaned. Everything is just tidied, tidied up, as you can see. That's why this guild for me is one of the best introductions into this mod. Once you talk to Angel, you will officially now be part of the Demon Hunter guild and you will have a higher rank than the normal recruits have. You can also learn special skills for melee, for, for crossbow, and so on and so forth. Once the ritual has been completed, you will receive your medium armor for the demon hunter. And there will also be a lot of quests, which I'm not going to explain in this video, but um, the first one will be getting a demon heart and it's hilarious because if you kill 20 rabbits which are just normal animals then you can get a demon heart as long as you know how to extract hearts that's it for this video guys like and subscribe for more future content and i'll see you in the next one